What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We are here at Agamemnon in Kuwaitan, Michigan. This course looks awesome, great views, and looks pure. This is gonna be part one in the front nine. My goal is to shoot in the 60s today. We're just gonna jump straight into it. Number one, par four, 388. Sweet vantage point here from the tee. Plays pretty straight, just kind of falls to the left there. I think we're gonna be aiming kind of left center and let it fade. Looks like you got a little more room to the right. That did not take the bounce we were hoping for right there. That kicked hard right, kind of landed on the edge of the fairway. Might have trundled into the tall stuff. So my eyes were not deceiving me. It did jump into the heather. Thankfully, it's not too thick. 76 yards left, right hole location. Let's toss one up that close. Kind of went right under that, a little short. Not a bad place, but need to hit it harder. Not a bad place to miss it right there. I kind of caught that high on the club face. Normally when you do that, you don't get good distance out of it. So we did come up a little short, but if you're gonna miss it, this isn't too bad of a location. See if we can't chip it up there close, maybe even give it a little look. No harm there, par here on one. Borderline drivable par four, 337. You can see the flag there up over that bunker there. I think we're gonna take it right at it. I think the miss here is gonna be to the right. So if we miss it, we wanna favor the right side. And I didn't come here to lay up. So to get high, let it fly. Hit it pretty good, just a little right, but that was our plan from the start, so it should be in good shape. Just outside of the greenside bunker, pin high, that's what we're looking at. We've got a little green to work with, so really, all in all, not a bad place to be. Probably wanna land it just like a little right. It's probably gonna trundle a little left. Huge start right there. Love to see the pin slamming early, one under through two. If y'all enjoy these traveling course vlogs, drop a like down below and subscribe and ring that bell, turn them notifications on so you don't miss any future content. That greatly helps me out and allows me to continue making these traveling course vlogs that hopefully y'all are enjoying. Number three, par three. This is a really sweet hole here. 195, pin is all the way back right. It looks to be a very difficult pin. Wind is off the left. I think I'm gonna go with a full seven iron. Hit that one well. That landed a little long. I hit that seven iron forever right there. So with that pin being tucked all the way back right here, it was a really good line off the tee. It was kind of fading a little bit, but just heading center of the green. And to this pin, you really didn't want to be aggressive, especially first time playing. You don't really know all the surroundings, but we are back here just outside of the bunker here. Really happy with the start here, one under through three. Quality up and down. I didn't show the exact lie, but it was kind of one of those sandy, but a little grass. So you don't really know how it's gonna react out of that lie. 
made good contact, trundled down there to a few feet and tapped in for par. Curious to know what kind of golf ball that everyone plays with. I'm currently playing with the Pro V 1X Titleist. Yep, that's what I've been playing with pretty much all year. And I really like it, but curious to know what everyone plays. So drop it down in the comments. We're on to number four, par four. 390 yards, does bend to the right. Green sits off back kind of around that corner behind those bunkers. So I think we're gonna be favoring that right side. I don't see a reason not to hit driver. Probably aiming somewhere like right in there. We'll have to see, I hit that pretty good over that corner. I'm not really sure how far the corner is to carry, we'll see. Next time I play here, probably favor a little more left than trying to cut that corner, but really not too bad. Just in the first cut of rough, got 95 yards to a back hole location here. Just going with a little lob wedge. Let's knock it close, let's get to two under. We will take that. Kind of had to go down and get after that one. So that's why I kind of finished that way. But that was right on the number. About eight feet short of pin high. So quality yardage right there. The way I finished there probably looked like I just stuck the club in the ground. Lie wasn't great and it was on a little bit of an upslope. So I knew it was gonna be difficult for me to like get a true follow through on that swing. Just wanted to make sure that I made contact with the ball first, kind of drove that ball into the ground, let the loft elevate the ball out of there. And because of that, the club just kind of sticks in the ground and not a big follow through like normal, but quality shot right there. See if we can't roll the rock. Par here on four. Number five, par four. Looks to play pretty straight, but the green is kind of set back to the left over those bunkers, 360 yards. Y'all know how much I love hitting driver, but I don't think this is a driver hole. We're gonna go four iron, just hit one, a little, little flighted, maybe a little mini stinger up there, just get a little fairway finder. That was a saucy little stinger right there. We've got 105 left to a front hole location. I think I'm just gonna have full lob wedge here, maybe a choke down sand wedge. I really don't like hitting all out wedges, so I think we're gonna go with a three quarter little sand wedge, flight it down, let's knock this close, get our second bird. We definitely need to work on our wedges. That was an opportunity to stick one close and I did not hit that one very well. We haven't had a chip in in a minute and I was feeling good about that one. Let's go, two under. Those are the moments in the round that turn a decent round into a great round. That is huge for the team morale right there, especially heading into number six, par five, 523. See if we can't get a good tee ball, give us an outside chance at an eagle look. Probably my favorite looking tee shot thus far. Bends to the right, so we're just gonna be aiming down the middle, and if it fades a little bit, that'd be just fine. Couldn't have asked for a better drive. We've got 195. You see the pin there, kind of set back left corner. We definitely want to favor right of the flag. And this slope right here is a really severe upslope. So that's going to add loft to the club at impact. So I think I'm going to go with a full six iron and try to hit it hard because it's slightly into the wind. I think I'm going to play this like 205.
Walking up here from the right side of the green, we were pretty much right on the number. There is a big slope right here, so we are not on the back level. And we had a little more room than we thought over here left of the flag, but all in all, with what we knew, that was a good quality swing. However, that was good speed, and the putter's feeling pretty good today. Just got a couple feet left here, clean up for our bird. Three under through six. This has been a really fun course to play. The rating out here is 73.6 with a slope of 140. So a decent test of the game, but really if you're hitting good shots, you can make a lot of birdies, which I always love that in a course. And even the heather and the tall stuff, most of it is pretty thin and you're gonna find your ball in it. So I really like that. It's not just an automatic lost ball when you hit it into the tall stuff. You've got a pretty good chance of finding it and being able to play out of it as well. We're on number seven, par four. This hole bends around to the right a little bit. It kind of sits back over that right hand bunker. And I don't think this is driver. I think we're going with four iron, kind of right out there in the middle. Starting to really hit some good tee shots here. Got 118 left, slight helping breeze. Pin looks to be in go zone right there. We're gonna go with the sand wedge. All in all, quality swing. Landed like right there, pin high basically. Got about 35 feet putting up and over this ridge. That's a disappointing three putt right there. Back to two under. Hate to see them, but they do happen. That's in the pass. We're on a number eight, par three, slightly down the hill, 190, wind off the left. Pin is set there on the right side of the green. I think I'm gonna go with a smooth little six iron. And the wind just switched again. I think we're going seven. It is kind of slightly helping now. It's kind of messing with me, but uh, seven's the club. Love to see that out of the mid to long irons right there. That's the bounce back swing that we are looking for all day long. Got about six and a half, maybe seven feet here for bird. It's gonna bounce back. Don't do it to me. Oh. Oh, I wanted that putt right there. I second guess my first read. Typically your first read is gonna be the best read you're gonna give yourself, not all the time, but most of the time. So take a lesson from me, stick with that first instinct, unless you really see something that really changes the whole scope of your read. Well, this is a beast of a par five through a shoot, 611 yards. I think we're just gonna be taking it right through there. Definitely teeing it high, letting it fly. So there was absolutely no room over here right. Need to take that into account, play it further left next time. We're just gonna have to lay this up over here. We are in the hazard, but it is hittable down there. So just laying up to like right over there. First goal accomplished. We did get it out, didn't hit it as far as we were thinking we were going to, trying to hit it down there. Contact wasn't great. Up the hill, 
235, and that is way up the hill. I think we're going with a high flight at three iron. Good contact, maybe front left corner of the green. Walking up from the back side of the green, that is a brutal pin location right there. Quality swing right there. We're in good shape. We are right there, kind of front portion of the green. There is kind of a big swell right there. So we'll be putting up and over a ridge, this back plateau. Those last three holes, not quite the ending to the front nine that we were hoping for. Finished at one under, just need to get those three putts sorted and we'd be playing some great golf. Still in good shape to shoot in the 60s, which was our goal when we came here. We'll find out in the back nine in part two. As for me, an Agamemnon, the Sundance course. We'll see you when we see you. Peace.